Ahead of Karnataka elections, more trouble brewing for one of the MLAs and he's also a minister. BJP's Muni Ratna and his supporters have had an FR filed against him. Muni Ratna's supporters were allegedly seen distributing saris to the voters in Bangarappa Nagar in Raj Rajeshwari constituency. This, remember, is being seen as a bid to influence the voters. The model code of conduct is currently on. A flying squad reached the spot. Supporters of MLA escaped from the spot, however, just in time, leaving the saris behind. A case has been registered against VC Chandru and uh, Muni Ratna as well. This is very important. Remember, previously there have been a banquet hall uh, where the flying squad had landed up, where also a BJP MLA and uh, supporters basically and a close aide were serving food. All of this is seen as a violation in code of conduct. Earlier, remember, DK Shiv Kumar was caught in a controversy over showering currency notes on, as he called, artists who has come to attend the event. But with the model code of conduct currently on, saris were being distributed. This can be seen as a bid to influence voters just ahead of elections in the southern state of Karnataka. So that's the visual on your screen. Uh, very interesting. The moment the flying squad landed up, the ones who were distributing the saris fled the spot, left the saris behind. Sagai Raj now joins me from Bengaluru for the latest on that. Uh, Sagai, it's uh, good to see that the flying squad is ensuring that they are tracking every neta, every party. But do tell us about why saris distribution at a time like this can be controversial. What exactly happened? And is the FR against Muni Ratna or just the supporters? It can be controversial because they are trying to influence the voters and you can see in the saris uh, there are pictures of uh, Muni Ratna and uh, uh, the local uh, uh, BJP le leaders of uh, Bangarapale and uh, what you also get to learn is this is not the first time that uh, the uh, leaders are uh, distributing the saris. We have seen in the past where people had come out uh, uh, burning the saris saying that they don't require saris, they require Development. We have seen in Chikmagalur, we have seen in other parts of Bengaluru. Not only Kari Kuja are there, are also distributions of iron box, cookers, and some other uh, uh, things to who the voters in the state of Karnataka. And there are few incidents which is coming out in the light, and there are many incidents uh, which have been ushered up, which is not uh, in, uh, on, on the public forum. And uh, in, in Bagalkot district, I have also seen that. Uh, uh, 10 kgs of sugar were also distributed to the voters and voters have protested against them. So, uh, these new situations we get here from the state of Karnataka where uh, uh, the politicians start trying the level best to woo their voters in their own constituency. In this particular case, the flying squad immediately rushed to the spot uh, and tried to nab the people and they fled from that particular area, leaving the saris behind. And uh, Sagai, what you said is very interesting. Apart from saris, if there were pressure cookers, irons that were being distributed, this in many ways aims at household with women specifically who would want to take these items. Was it a bit to influence? An FR meanwhile has been filed. Thank you so much, Sagai Raj, for tracking the latest.